pre-workout rituals, guys. Pre-workout and music. Trying out the new My Protein Chocks. I actually tried mine already, and it's like not as good as Quest Bars, but it's pretty good. They're cappuccino flavor, and. I'm trying my pre this morning for my protein. Check that description, guys. What's going on, guys? Bob from Olympus Science here with Jared and Tim. We're hitting some shoulders today, and the way I like to go about shoulders is I like to, you know, do two, two, and two. Two anterior, two lateral, two uh, posterior. So, two front, two side, two back for those who don't want to look up all those long words. But uh, we're going to start off with a uh, seated military press. Luckily, this gym, Ocean State Health and Fitness, $13 a month only, actually has one of these machines right here. So, pumped about that. Guys, keep in mind that we did actually warm up with the bar before we did this. I know Nick Wright likes to uh, show that, but I don't like to show it, but I can tell you that we always warm up with the bar. This machine especially, you definitely need a lift off. But, I like this exercise a lot. I usually do standing, but since I, my lower back is absolutely fried from uh, chest and also deadlifts, like my lower back is just fried. So. This is naturally the uh, the best option here. Jared's playing with this right now. What's up, guys? Bob Arcan here for the commentary. So glad I was able to reunite the bros, Aries and Atlas, and actually try out this machine. Uh, normally, we would push our head through at the top to really activate our rear delts. But since we were already going to do two exercises for the rear delts, I figured, you know, whatever. Let's make this a side and front delt exercise uh, focus. So Tim was playing around 185. Me and Jared, I believe, just stayed. Um, we did a plate and a 10. We did like 155. That This is 155 here. But you can't prove it because the plate is blocking the 10. So, you know, whatever. Wearing a squat shirt from Forged Iron Training here because I'm a rebel even though I'm not squatting. Uh, check out that form. Um, I did tell you guys that we were going to do two on everything. I didn't show everything here uh, just because I didn't want this video to be super long, especially training with three people. But I really do. Uh, I got that from Nick Panero that I like to train two front, two side, two rear. And uh, one big thing about the side delts that a lot of people don't figure out, especially when they're doing uh, laterals, is that they're usually, I see a lot of people's hands come above their elbow, like they ended up like doing more like a, like they're flapping, flapping their wings rather than like actually doing a side raise. Like sometimes I'll actually do um, the side raises you'll see me do here, supersetted with a very strict straight arm um, lateral raise, which is actually my preference, but if you aren't getting those like V taper looking side delts, then you should really reevaluate how you do your uh, side raises. We did this with Nick, with Nick Wright, and I think that he completely changed his form on his lateral raises, and now I, th I think that he likes it a lot better. Nick, if you are watching this video, comment below. Um, you notice me, I'm like, I picture pouring Ciroc on two bitches. Nah, I don't actually picture that because I'm wifed up. So I picture pouring out two jugs of bad milk that I left in my fridge. So for the rest of this video, we're going to be talking. So enjoy the rest of it. We kind of bullshit a little bit. Uh, throw, up, throw me some likes if you like this video and also subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. He's a freak, wait, he's gotta have That's half. That's 40. In other words, like that's the shit I did in like sixth grade, son. Up the weight. Stop doing your set. Come on, dude. You're gonna get like fucked. Fifty reps. I'm gonna finish my my set. I'm like, doing like one handed. Usually, Andy's kind of heavy. <laughs> Forty pounds. 
Guys, this is why you should videotape yourself. Don't throw it on YouTube because you know what you mean about that life. I'd be arrested. But this is the this is the reason why. This because then you could see that he's clearly activating his rear delts here. Some of you guys that do face pulls, I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. It's really, really helpful. You got my stuff. Oh. It's really helpful to film yourself because you can actually see yourself fucking up. If you film yourself, put it on the tube machine. <laughs> <laughs> when I originally started filming, I figured out so much shit about my form that I just wasn't okay with. I used to make fun of people in the gym for doing, and I was doing the entire time, so I don't know. Just a tip for me to you. Oh, stealing your thunder. Stealing your thunder. <laughs> stealing your thunder. See now, Bob wore a t-shirt because he doesn't actually know how to activate his rear delts. On the way to the gym, he let me borrow this tank. Jared, you need to wear a tank. You activate your rear delts really well. I know you guys have seen uh, Bob wearing his Paragon, what is it, Paragon Fitness Tank. It's actually Bob's. See, now you can't see his rear delts being activated, but you can hear them. You can you can hear it in those grunts. There's definitely there. There's something. Boom. Activation complete. I was just about to do my set. Bob's set is up next. He literally started doing French curls just so he could get a pump in his tricep. Because he felt like they looked small. Just letting you guys know. I'm gonna I'm gonna do my set now. So on that negative, I'm actually not gonna show mine or Tim's set because this video is gonna be retardedly long. So since Jared it's just looking aesthetic right now as fuck. We're gonna keep, we're gonna keep the video on him. Can you stop making noise over there? <laughs> God, you're so white. So am I.